interregulating official beside TNS firmware. Step one, install firmware on green driver. Click and download it. And I've already downloaded it on the desktop. Here it is. Unzip it. And there are two files in it. Select the file based on the system or the computer. If the computer system is Windows 10 or 11, you may select PL2003 driver. That's PC. Manage. Device manager. Ports. Update driver. Browse. Browse and select the driver you have downloaded. Next, when you show the best drivers are already installed, the driver installation is complete. Close. If the system is Windows 7, you can select CH340 driver. Set up install. When you show the driver is successfully pre-installed, and the driver installation is complete. Now the driver installed successfully. Step 2. Download firmware upgrade 2. Click and download it on the desktop and unzip it. Here it is. Open the 2. Step 3. Update the firmware. Click and download the latest firmware. Here it is. And open the firmware upgrade to connect the transmitter to the computer with the USB cable. And do not power on TS now. Select the right COM port and click connect and power on TS within one second. Red disconnected changes into green connected when the collection is successful. You can a click April and select the form you have downloaded. Open. And start. When the green pass appears, the firmware update is successful. And don't unplug the USB cable now. Click Disconnect first. The green connected changes into red disconnected, means TAS is disconnected, and then you can unplug the USB cable from TAS. After the firmware update, we can open Parameter Adjustment app to confirm the update is successful. Power on TAS. And open Parameter Adjustment app. Click Connect. Select Read Link. And then you can press any one of the two buttons to confirm the connection. So connect it in system. You can see the firmware version is 8.4.6, which means the firmware update is successful.